Welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18. In today's video, we're going to be doing number two of the Trading Everybody Challenge. I did do this video a couple videos ago with the Boston Celtics. It was very, very painful to see some of my favorite players in the NBA traded for pretty much garbage. Pretty much, no, I didn't get really one good deal. Not even for Kyrie, not even for Hayward, not really for Tatum, but still, we're going to be doing it today with the Warriors. And this video has been requested even before I started doing this challenge, before I did the first one of these. People have been wanting to see this for a while. It's trading pretty much everybody on this team. No more Kevin Durant, no more Steph Curry, no more Klay Thompson. You clearly can't say no more DeMarcus Cousins because you don't really even had him. And no more Draymond Green. So what I'm going to instantly do on this is I'm going to be moving Draymond Green to small forward. And let's see. Um, we're just going to start off with a bang. Let me just make sure there's nobody on my untouchables. There is not. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at some offers for Kevin Durant. And we have one offer. Are you kidding me? This is the only offer for KD. That's kind of annoying. All right, well, we only have two for Steph Curry, and it's either Porzingis and Canner or Lillard and Collins. So I think I would prefer Porzingis, maybe, because he's a little bit younger and he's on, a, obviously, a better contract. But we're going to be taking one of these trades. So my eyes will be shut. We're just going to count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, do I want to keep this one, or do I want to go one to or the other trade? You know what? We're going to stick with this one. Oh, we get Dame and we get Zach Collins. You know what? I still really can't complain. We're getting Damian Lillard at the end of the day. So uh, the reason I'm not trading Durant right now is because I'm trying to wait and see if I can maybe get more offers for him. I don't think trading all my players is going to allow that to happen. But still, you never know. We do have 27 offers for Draymond Green. Not all of these are great. Some of them are obviously better than others. But I'm really hoping I don't get a shitty one. Like, let's, let me just find, like, the oh, Bradley Beal would be so nice. Like, let, let me find the worst one on here. Like, this one. This would suck. But we're going to shut my eyes. We're just going to give it a countdown. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Do I want to do this one or do I want to go? You know what? I'm going to go the left one. So we're going to do this trade. We got Dennis Schroeder. We could add Wiggins, which would have been kind of cool. But we're going to pick up Dennis Schroeder and Terrence Ferguson. Not the end of the world. I can live with that. Um, I would actually probably liked Wiggins because he probably would have started at small forward for us. But it's all good. We're going to move Clay Thompson now, who, again, is a great piece. Again, there's some better offers here than other uh, offers here than some other ones. This one would suck. This one would not be great because I think the Knicks pick would get much better if they had Clay Thompson. But this one would really suck. But we're just gonna see what we end up getting. I'm gonna count down three, two, one, and we're gonna stick with this trade. Whatever this trade is. Oh boy, um, I could have had. Yeah, wow, that's um, wow, that that stings a little bit. Uh, also, another rule about this is I cannot sign or trade back for any of the players that I had before. So I will not be ever signing Durant, Thompson, Draymond, anybody like that. Cousins. Oh, I forgot to do Cousins. Shit. Well, I'm, I'll just do Iggy first anyways. I'm not even going to look at the trades. I really don't care. Um, we're just going to do this, and we're going to go three, two, one. Kelly Oubre. I'll take. We could have had Robert Covington or Evan Turner, but I will take Kev Kelly Oubre. Not a horrible piece. Like, definitely probably were some worse, worse offers up there. Uh, we're now going to be moving to Marcus Cousins. Who we have 17 offers for. I would love like Lowry Markkinen. That would be so nice. Kemba wouldn't be bad. Like D'Lo, Dennis Smith Jr. Any of these would be great. Capella, Aldridge. Like I would take any of those. So here we go. We're going to count down in three, two, one. Do I want to do this one or I want to go to the right one? You know what? We're going to go to the right one. And we end up with Lowry Markkinen. Let's go. We would have had Dario Sarge, but we get Lowry Markkinen. I will take that. We have to go with Kelly Oubre Jr. as well, but... Ultimately, I really don't care. We got a nice young piece in Lowry Marketing, so that is absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to do Durant now. We have two offers now. Okay. Shit. Okay, you know, if we end up getting this trade, I'm going to take. I'm gonna go ahead and trade Draymond again. But if we end up getting the Paul George one, if we don't, I'm just going to do this one with Donovan Mitchell and Gobert. But, I mean, there's only two options. It's literally a 50-50 chance. So three, two, one. Okay, we're just going to do this trade again. I'm going to trade Draymond again, get another piece. I... I don't know. Like, it's random. It happens. So, Draymond Green. Going to be traded again. I think I moved him for Kentavion. Who didn't know? I traded Clay Thompson for him. I have no idea who I traded him for. But I'm just going to start going through these. Pray we get something good. Three, two, one. Do I want to stay on this one? I think I am. Bradley Beal, let's go. That's so hype. We could have got Sarge or McCollum, but Bradley Beal. That is so hype. That's a great pickup. So, this team is looking much better now. Damian Lillard, Paul George, Bradley Beal, Dennis Schroeder, Lowry Marketing. I'm liking this. We also have to move Jordan Bell, um, who actually, I think I'm going to move him to power forward. I think his trade value actually should go up a little bit. So Jordan Bell, power forward, is a 77 overall now, so you never know. Uh, he had one and a half stars, I think, before. He has now. He has now. 
He has two and a half. Okay, one and a half star. No, Jesus Christ. I'm a little bit on the spectrum at the moment. Uh, so here we go. I'm just hoping for some good young player. No, like, Vince Carter, nothing like that. Three, two, one. This is exactly what I didn't want. Uh, we could have Justin Patton or we could have Troy Daniels. But, yeah, that's just kind of... Oh, wait. Fuck me. I just traded Bobby Portis. <laughs> okay. Well, before the comment section start erupting, I know I just traded Bobby Portis. That's um, that's a beef up. But we're... <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to do this now. Three, two, one. We'll stick with it. Billy Hernan Gomez, not bad. And Cody Zeller. So, we get a starting center this year. So, is there anybody else in this team that's, like, kind of useful... Um, not really, like, I guess I'll just trade Jacob Evans as well, just because he's a rookie. Why not? People are probably going to get mad, but we'll see what we get. This is going to be the last guy traded. Three, two, one. We get first round pick in Justin Patton. Cool. So, this is the new team. This is the new team at the moment. Lowler, George, Beal are obviously our big three. We also have Schroeder as a backup point. We have a ton of point guards. Okay, I never said I couldn't, I wouldn't make a rule that said I couldn't trade any of these guys. So, I'm going to trade Rondo, I think, immediately. For some sort of small forward, power forward, center, any any big man really, or any really wing player. So we're gonna do this. You know what? I'm, this is gonna take forever. I'll see you guys when I have a trade. So we're gonna be making this trade with the Indiana Pacers. Not a bad trade at all. Rajon Rondo for Bohung Bodanovic, and just like that, that trade is complete. So we pick up a really really solid wing player. We'll obviously be Paul George's backup. Cody Zeller. They want to start. Um, I think I'm gonna move Felton now for either a shooting guard or a power forward. So let me just look at some offers for him. God, I like this. This, I mean, I can't complain. This didn't go great, but it could have went way worse. Like, in all reality, it, it's not bad. Um, so I'm not really seeing. You know, Rashawn Holmes, not bad. I'll just move him to power forward. I don't really care. So Rashawn Holmes is going to be my new power forward off the bench. Not bad at all. I have no idea why they don't have his actual model in this game, but they don't. So I'm just gonna leave the team the way it is. Hernan Gomez is gonna get 10 tonight. Holmes is gonna play about 14. Bogdanovich about 20. We'll go 27 here. I'm going to go 32 here. These guys are really all set. We're going to go 35 here. Actually, we'll go 34 here. And we'll just give a 29th to Cody Zeller. So, my guess, this team makes the playoffs. I mean, we have a really, really solid backcourt. Really solid small forward in Paul George. Markkanen going to be a star one day. And then we got Cody Zeller. But still, the team's looking really solid. Definitely expect a playoff spot. And I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. So, we finished season number one with a record of 46 and 36, which isn't even that bad. I mean, it's pretty much around what I was expecting. There's really... I don't know. I don't have team chemistry on, but players don't play well together when you trade for a ton of players and then start simulating even with team chemistry off. But still, I'm fine with the record. Westbrook MVP, Doncic, Evans, Gobert, Dunn, and Nick Nurse is the coach of the year. So we were seventh in the West. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to win a championship this year. I mean, this is a really, really good team still. Like, probably, like, definitely a sixth man of the year candidate. I mean, not really with those stats, but player-wise. Um, with Dennis Schroeder, first round taking on the Thunder. Probably not going to win, but still, we win a game. That's pretty much about it, though. So, we end up losing in five. I really, I can't complain. The NBA Finals is going to be the Timberwolves, actually, in the Raptors. And the Raptors, quick Jenny sweep and Kawhi Leonard is your Finals MVP. So, we're heading into this offseason. There's no more challenge part of this video. I can pretty much do whatever I want, except for trade or sign players that I had at one point. So, let's head up to staff signing at the moment. Steve Kerr is obviously not going anywhere. Uh, we're going to fire Kirk Lacob, and we're going to keep Ryan Tucker uh, our trainer's decent, but I'm not, I'm just going to get Jimmy Lynch. Like, I have to do it. Rod Baker's going to come in as well. And then any former players that I would love to sign? Um, let me see. I'm not really seeing any. And that's kind of unfortunate, but that's just sometimes the way it goes. So, we're just going to sign the top assistant coach. See whoever the whoever that is. Lucas Green. Uh, we'll just take Barney Rowe. He has kind of the best ratings, it looks like. And then assistant GM, we're just going to go... Oh, boy, there is not a lot of good options here. I guess we're just going to go Keith Waters. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, I'm the GM, so really it's not the end of the world. But we get Baker, and we get these two. So that is all set. The staff's good for the rest of the video. We might have our draft pick. It's not going to be any good pick, though. We didn't really trade any of our good players for good picks. So we have 22 and 29. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe packaging, like, Cody Zeller, these picks, and maybe a future pick for, like, pick 10 or something like that. So let's see. Zeller... 22, 20, this is not going to get me pick 10. Um, could it get me like 12 from the, I feel like it can definitely get me this. Okay, well, maybe I could have moved it a little more, but we can probably still get something decent at 12. So I'm going to draft somebody there and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. So I drafted Lamar Peters at pick 12. He was the highest ranked prospect. He's a 71, probably will be in the G League for a year. Uh, we, oh, I forgot to send Justin Patton to the G League. I am a professional dumbass, but 
And I could have sent Zach Collins too. God, that's that's just um stupid. Yeah, that's a good word to describe it. Very, very stupid. So Durant is gonna did I think I did I trade KD back to the Thunder? I did, didn't I, for Draymond and Paul George? I didn't even realize that. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. We have no cap space, which is a little bit unfortunate. Do we have any cap holes that are big? Uh, Bogdanovich I would like to bring back. Same with Holmes, Drebko, Meeks. This guy and this guy can go. Um, so if I can bring back Bogdanovich and Rashawn Holmes, that would be nice. Bogdanovich we do have bird rights on, so that's pretty cool. And then Rashawn Holmes, um, I'm just going to go by overall. And he's right here. You want? Oh, okay, I can't even afford Rashawn Holmes. Screw me, right? Uh, so hopefully I get Bogdanovich. I'm probably going to package him in some sort of trade if I end up getting Yeah, I did get him, so... I don't really know what I want. I would like an improvement at center, obviously. Uh, do we have a mid-level exception? We have a $5.5 million mid-level exception, so any players I can get here for like that amount of money. Brooke Lopez isn't bad, but I do have a pretty good amount of centers, I think. Rondo, no. Um, Pau Gasol is too old for me. Taj Gibson, a little bit too old. Wilson Chandler could be an option. Um, this is like the issue. There's always good players here, but they're always just so old. Wayne Ellington wouldn't be bad. I can just give him my whole mid-level exception if he wants to accept this, and he does. So that is cool. We are now going to see what we could do, possibly, if we were to package Bogdanovich and, like, Zach Collins, center-wise. Not really sure what I can get. It's about $16 million. Okay, trading is broken. Oh, boy. Uh, Bogdanovich, Collins, and, you know, we'll do my first-round pick next year. Let's just see center-wise. Give me a good center. Sarge and Covington isn't a bad offer. Gobert and Sharif O'Neal. That is probably what I'm going to take. That is, you know what? That's pretty much about as good as it gets. Sharif O'Neal will be in the G League, but that is a perfect trade. Great defensive center to go along with a not very good defensive power forward. So the team is looking solid for me at the moment. Uh, we have two point guards. Lamar. Pe oh, we actually have three point guards, but Lamar Peters will be in the G League anyways. Um, Beal and Ellington, George, and I guess Ferguson. We, uh, Sharif O'Neal will be in the G League and Hernan Gomez. That's nine good players. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two with the rotation. So I do want to send Lamar Peters to the G League. So I'm going to sign TJ McConnell to a contract. Honestly, could end up being our ninth man. So I'm now going to be sending, I already sent Sharif. We're going to be sending Lamar Peters to the G League now. Need one more roster spot. And let me just check this out. TJ McConnell's listed as a shooting guard. Okay. Um, You know what? I might cheese the system and package him and Terrence Ferguson for some sort of power forward. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I don't really even care. So McConnell... Ferguson, future first, power forward. Give me some sort of 77 overall power forward. Chandler Hudson, Valentine, Tom Pett, John Collins, and Tyler Dorsey. That is 95% chance happening. Yes, it is. Beautiful. We got a great, solid bench piece in John Collins. And this team is looking good. This team is really, really looking solid. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what this team is doing right now. Uh, we're going to go 33 here, 33 here. 35, 35, and we'll go 34, 34, and we'll give one more to John Collins. So, team is all set. M very much improved from season number one. Lillard, Beal, George, Marketing, Gobert, Schroeder, Collins, Ellington, Hernan Gomez. I'm hoping we can win a championship with this team, and I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. Much better year. 66 and 16. Absolutely, we'll take it. RJ Barrett, Batum, Giannis, Sexton, and Sexton was unbelievable. And Steve Kerr is the coach of the year, back to the usual. So we were first in the West, pretty much just took a year off from being first, and actually took two years off the Rockets were first, but that's not the point. We scored a lot of points. George, Lillard, Beal, Markinen, Schroeder, uh, Gobert was unbelievable, probably defensively, great amount of rebounds. Assist was Lillard. First round of the playoffs, taking on the Denver Nuggets. Actually, I want to look at team stats. I'm pretty sure most of you guys like looking at team stats too. Points per game, second best, pretty good defensively, and had the best differential. So Nuggets... First round, we're up 2-0. We are up 3-0, and nope. No, 2K. Oh, oh boy. Um, you're going to see a very angry me if this if we blow this. And, of course, it's a close game. I will not be hopping in because I refuse to hop in anymore. There we go. Thunder round two. We should be able to beat them. We're so much better than them at this point. There we go. Actually, do they resign Durant? I kind of want to see KD. And I should have hopped in just to see KD in a Thunder jersey again. That would have been cool. Uh, we end up sweet or not sweeping, sweeping, winning in seven against the Trailblazers, and we did take a year off from the Warriors Cavs finals, but we're already back to it. So let's check out the Cavs team. They have DeAndre Jordan, Kevin. This is a not even close to a championship caliber team. Thanks for coming, Cleveland. The Paul George Finals MVP. So we do get the championship done, the elusive championship, which I'm very very happy about. Uh, let me just make sure we still have our whole staff. Um, we do. 
We are all set for the third and final year. Uh, I might actually trade Schroeder just because, like, Lamar Peters is a 78, Sharif's a 77. Uh, just because I could trade him probably for a top pick. And then, actually, you know what? Or I could just keep him. How tall is he? Schroeder's 6'1. Um, Peters is 6'3. We have two-year deal on Ellington. If I package Schroeder and Ellington, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get something pretty good in this draft. Let's see. Schroeder, who has three and a half stars, and Ellington, who has two and a half stars. Like, Is this like number one pick worthy? Number two? And I will give you first-round pick next year. We have the number two overall pick. Like, what could I get? You know what? You know what I might do? It is easier to trade for Russell Westbrook in the third season. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If I could possibly get Russell Westbrook, Curry is, that just looks weird. Anyway, and get Russell Westbrook for Damian, what is wrong? 941,000 more. And I will actually give you, I'll give you Sharif too, and the number two overall pick. I've seen it done before though. Like, come on. I feel like in real life they would take this probably, but oh, that would have been cool. It's anyway for Simmons, for Damian Lillard, and does that say he's untouchable? It doesn't say he's untouchable. And I will give you Sharif O'Neal. This would be sick. Come on. And two firsts. Come on. You know, you're going to have Lamar. P Actually, did I throw in Ellington? Oh, no. I traded Ellington for the second overall pick. And you can have Lamar Peters. Give me your worst player. This guy. Oh, my God. What's wrong with it? $2 million more. Give me Wesley Matthews. Mm, this would have been so cool. Ah, you know what? Like Kyrie, I would probably do. Yeah, he's on top. Okay, that's not happening. It was a waste of time. Westbrook or Ben Simmons would have been so cool, but I'm just going to draft somebody at pick two, and I'll see you guys at rookie signing. So I took Charles Bassey at pick two. I've been getting Wiseman a lot. He was on the board, but I've really never gotten Charles Bassey. So we have Marketing and Collins coming back, which I kind of forgot because that's two power forwards right there. Tyler Dorsey didn't even play. I'm not going to give him the qualifying. So let me just see. Do we have any free agents of my own? We have Billy Hernan Gomez, who I will pay because why not? We get him back. All these guys can go. And then do we have a mid-level exception? Because if we do, I'm probably going to use it. We have a $5, $5, $5.5 million mid-level exception. So let me just see any possible people I could get here. Uh, Greg Monroe is probably not going to happen. CJ Miles, no thanks, really. I need like... 5 million. TJ McConnell wouldn't even play. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, if he wants to come here, I could think about moving him. Maybe we get Michael Kidd Gilchrist as well. Okay, so maybe I'll actually keep him just for his defense. And so let me just see where we're at right now. Point guard, we have two solid starters. We have one shooting guard, two small forwards, three power forwards. So maybe I'll trade Collins for a backup shooting guard. And fuck me, we have Four power forward. Maybe I'll trade Collins. I want to use Bassey, so maybe I'll trade Collins. How tall is Bass? Bassey's actually 6'10. So you know what? I could probably move him to center and trade Hernan Gomez and Damn it. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, where am I? First of all, I'm the Warriors. Here's what I'm gonna do. Marking and starting. If I trade Collins and Hernan Gomez for a shooting guard, I'm gonna move Bassey to center. Who goes down to a 76. I can live with that. So I'm going to trade Hernan Gomez and Collins for a sh backup shooting guard. That's what I'm going to do. Hernan Gomez and Collins and a first-round pick. Give me some sort of shooting guard. That's all I really want. Actually, give me this. Actually, no, no, no. Shit. Give me this first-round pick so it has a star and a half. Okay. Give me something good. Shooting guard-wise. Wendell Carter Jr. is not a shooting guard. Fred Van Vliet. Malik Monk. Actually, what's Malik Monk's stats? Jesus Christ, what happened? I might just take this trade. I mean, it's a pretty good trade. OG is not bad. Anthony Simmons. You know, we're going to take Malik Monk. We also pick up Wayne Ellington. Could I actually do this trade without... You know, I probably could. We just pick up Malik Monk. So, the team is really all set. I'm going to probably figure out the rotation at the start of next season. I feel like we honestly have too many players, but better than not having enough. I'll see you guys at the rotation at the start of the third and final season. So, we did have too many players. So, we are going to just be running this rotation. Lillard, Beal, George, Mark, and Gobert. I decided to go 10-man rotation. We have Malik Monk. Lamar Peters, Sharif O'Neal, Charles, ba Charles Bassey, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist, which, I mean, is a pretty solid bench, I would honestly say. I don't love the 10-man rotation idea. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go here. 
just because I like getting more minutes to start, but they're all still playing a decent amount of minutes. I can live with it. We already won a championship, so I really don't care if we don't win one this year. I would like to, obviously. Who knows if we will or not. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. So I did see before the season ended that we were the one seed again with a record of 57 and 25. A little bit worse than last year, but I kind of like how the team turned out. It's more of an experiment than rather get the best players possible. Doom be a rookie of the year. Simmons, Davis, Williams, and Nick Nurse is the coach of the year. They tied us with the best record it looks like in the NBA. So, yeah, we are locked as the one seed in the whole league. George, Lillard, Beal, Marketing, Gobert, Monk, Bassey. I mean, everybody was, like, pretty solid. I mean, not a ton of guys. Got a ton of playing time, but... Still the one seed I really can't complain. Taking on the Suns in the first round. No. Oh, boy. Um, I need 2K19 to come out because this is just kind of ridiculous at this point. But you know what? We won a championship. It was a fun experiment. Never know. Maybe we would have lost the Raptors, but still. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Trading Everybody Challenge with the Golden State Warriors. Team came out pretty good still. Like 390 overalls, borderline 5. I mean, if Gobert and Marketing can both go up one overall. Would have 590 plus overalls, but still a very, very cool team. Very excited we didn't win a championship. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Let me know what team you want me to use next with this idea. I'm just kind of going around. Let me not in any sort of order. Would be more than happy to do one of these in a couple videos. So let me know that all down below in the comment section. I think the Spurs are my next 2019 rebuild. I actually might do a realistic Spurs rebuild. So if you want to see that, also let me know that down below. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe, of course, go follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. Leave a like down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.